everybody doing today? Now listen, the question is, KC, can you check out my eligibility for me? You know what I mean? It's so many people here trying to get this Medicaid in-home long-term health care program right, but they don't really know where the application's at. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's stuck in the mix. Sometimes they didn't even get it right. So the big question of the day is, can you help me with my eligibility? Now look, I got a new lady in the office. She's working with me. We're really trying to uh, figure it out. And she asked me, she said, KC, can you help me out with this? I said, yeah, no problem. So look, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guy, all right? Like, number one question is, who, KC, who do you help? Who do I help? I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term in-home health care program. And why would anybody waste all their time doing that? The only reason I'm going to tell you the truth is a secret. I don't think that nobody should have to struggle. Especially if you're doing your thing and you're taking care of other people, why you got to suffer? You know what I'm saying? So look, I'm going to help you get to the bottom of everything in just two seconds, all you got to do is stick around with me to the end. If you're here with me right now, hashtag live. If you're here in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. I want everybody to know this good message that we're putting out. You know what I mean? If you got some family members on Medicaid, they may need to hear this. You know, hashtag, you know, hashtag they name, whatever. Put them right into the mix. Also, if you need me while we're on the live, don't call me. Text me, 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Now, all right, people ask, how does it go down? Well, listen, you put in your application with Medicaid, you know, they approve you, you're already in Medicaid, but guess what? You still need a little extra help. So what are you going to do? You got to apply for long-term health care. Now, long-term health care is where the magic really happens, all right? So you want to uh, you want to be in the right program so you can get the right things. Like if you need a paid caregiver, the only insurance company, the only insurance company and program is Medicaid long-term health care program. Every other insurance company will deny your claim for a paid aid. They'll never pay you or your family member to take care of anybody else. Don Ye, how you doing today? Look, hashtag live if you're with me, hashtag rebroadcast if you're in the rebroadcast. So listen, you just got into Medicaid, you wanted to get into long-term care. It's three little tiny steps that you gotta do. The first step, uh it's, it's actually your medical, you know? So what they're going to do is they're going to reach out to your doctor. Like, you know, they already know who your doctor is, so you ain't got to worry about this. They're going to reach out to your doctor, and they're going to ask them for a comprehensive medical report. And that's just a basic report telling them, okay, this person is uh, able to come into the program. We feel like they will benefit medically, all right? So don't worry about that. You don't have nothing to do on that, and all you have to do is be you. Then they're going to have a nurse call you. She's going to set up everything. She's going to get all the records from your doctor. They're going to transport them back to Medicaid. All right? After that, what they're going to do is they're going to set you up with a financial advisor, right? Now, what the financial advisor is going to do, what they're going to do, they probably give you a call and say, hey, has your income changed? And you're going to say, no, I'm still the same person. I'm in Medicaid. So, you know, roll me into this new program. They're going to say, cool. All right, the third thing is going to be an interview. All right, now... The interview is the really the most special part because I tell people all the time, look, your future is in your hands. Now, if your case manager should call you, don't listen. Don't be like my mom. My mom will always say, oh, I'm all right. I don't need nothing, this and this. And I'm like, look, mom, you need everything. <laughs> don't be like her. Be like you. Be like me. Be the person who tells them everything because once you tell them everything, now they know they're going to take some good notes and they're going to best be able to get you as many hours as you can. See, you're going to get slighted on the hours if you tell them that you're fine. Now, they already know that you're not fine because you're in Medicaid and you're trying to get into long-term health care. So let's be honest with everybody. Put it all on the table. Look, I need as many hours a week I can get, and we want KC at Reliable Aid to take care of me. You know what I mean? That's where we're really going out with this. So look, they're going to give you this interview. That's going to be your perfect chance to tell them everything. You're going to tell them everything, and then comes the guess what? The weight gain, all right? So, let's say today is, today's the fifth. Let's say you did it today. They got all your paperwork done. They got everything done. They're, what they'll tell you is, on the first, today is April 5th. So, they'll tell you on the first of May, you'll be in a program. And that's sweet. That's cool. But guess what? You don't know anybody. You don't know nothing. Nobody's contacted you. You still wondering, am I good or what? You know what I'm saying? So, now... 
when they're not really responding to you, because this is what they're going to do, they're going to put you in a basket, tell you, look, we're going to call you on the first when you become eligible, and then actually on the first, they may send you an email, they may not, but one thing for sure, two things for certain, uh, they're not going to mess with you till the end of the month. They're not going to mess with you till the beginning of the month. So although you in and it's going to be next month, you're not even going to hear from anybody until next month, and it probably won't be till the 15th, the 22nd, you know, after everybody gets their assignments, they, they do all the assigning the, uh, uh, of the clients to case managers, you know, by email on their side. But then you don't really know what's going on. So, hey, guess what? That's when you're supposed to call me. You're supposed to say, KC, we need to know who's my case manager. If you didn't make it that far, you need to know, you know, check out my eligibility. I ain't heard nothing from these cats. You know what I'm saying? Call me up. Let me know, man. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to put them through the ringer. I'm, a, I'm already on your side. I'm really like your main advocate. And I'm going to tell them. Look, we need to know, is church in the program or not? What's the deal, all right? So if you need to check your eligibility, if you're in question about whether you got into the program, if you're in question that you need to fill this application out over again, whatever it is that you're in question of, the number one thing is you need to call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, if you got a loved one and they on the fence of getting into the program so they can get a paid caregiver, you know what to do, man. So look. I got to get out of here. If you're watching this on any other form of social media, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you're sharing this message because this big hearted caregiver message is really for the families. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> they in the program, but they don't really know. So they need to know. If you need any clarity in your situation, if you need, if you want to come to Reliable Aid and you just don't know where you're at right now, call me. 302-689-3240. Look, I love you. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of somebody else is bad business. You know, we doing this so when we get up top, we can get them high fives and walk straight through the gates. All right? Look, I love you. I got to go. Uh, Miss Nikki, our new administrator, I'm going to get her on here with y'all tomorrow, man, because uh, we making big moves over here. All right? <laughs> so I talk to you soon. You know, don't be afraid to share this message, man. This is big business. You know, get your family a paid caregiver. That's what they need. Then they can get off your back. You know what I'm saying? I love you. Take it easy.